Next slide. So next, we would have five, yeah, five, we only got 50 harvests left. But we got the CEO of Sun Minimal. Minimal. Minimal, right? Minimal. Minimal. But we got Wolfgang Kaga coming on stage. Wolfgang, are you there? It's time to wait. I, I got to check. I don't know. Yes. Oh, and there we go. Woo! Hello and welcome everybody. I'm glad to be here. Great that you're here. I have a little bit of a scary subject. 50 harvests left. And I want to tell you my journey uh, when I started 13 years ago, sitting in a panel and in a conference like you do now. That was back in 2011 on the foundation of uh, World Preservation Foundation. And today I want to show you what happened after 13 years to also invite you to make a little change if you want to. So what I brought today is a mission which we started yesterday. Actually, the mission is Race for Soil. And I hope I will be successful today to explain to you why it is important. If you look at this timeline, you can see that we survived a few thousand years already and the next 50 years will be very important. So for those of you who doesn't know what soil is, soil is the foundation of life. Without soil there would not be plants, without plants there would not be animals, and we would also not exist. Yeah, what is important is that it takes around 100 years to grow one centimeter of soil. So that means it's a non renewable resource for our generation and for the generation coming after us. So for me, 13 years ago, it was very, very important to recognize the weakest link in this whole uh, environmental journey. And for me, the weakest link is soil, therefore I dedicated my life for the last 10 years to bring that mission out. Yeah, if you look on the evolution of life, if you look 2,024 years back, you'll see we have 190 million people on this planet. Today we are moving towards 8 billion people. So the population is growing, our planet is not growing. If you look from a bird's eye view, from space onto the, our precious Earth, we'll see that 70% is water. And on the equator, there is no soil. So all you can see there are two little green belts where we all need to share. And it's not even distributed. So it's not really fair distributed. Yeah, the loss of soil means we are losing every year 10 million hectares of soil gone forever. Of course, there are different reasons for that, but it's happening. To give you a perspective of what it means, if you take a stamp and you walk every, every year through Europe and you make a stamp, the size a little bit bigger than the country where I come from, Austria, will be gone. For Germany, it takes three years and that will be gone forever in our generation. So soil is a non-renewable resource and as I said it takes 100 years to grow one centimeter. And we are losing a lot of quality of soil. So it's not only about that we are losing soil but also the thickness of soil is in danger. And we are truly running out. If you look back the last 50 years, what's happening is that we are losing every year 1% of our soil and that's the foundation of life. For a Western diet, we use about 10,000 square meters of arable land. We have only 1,800 left. So that's what we have today. And it's not getting much better. If you put it in perspective, a project like the line would need around 1,300 levels just to grow food. So where would the people live? 
So it's just an illusion if people think that you can grow food within a house. It's not gonna happen. Also, if Elon Musk takes a rocket to the moon or to the Mars, um, he can only take soil with him or food. And today's food has a lot of water content. I'll come to that point a little bit later. So we are very proud that we have a big supporter, the founder of the Green Tech Festival, um, which is Nick Rosberg. Big thank you to him. He's supporting also our mission, Race for Soil. We have also been title sponsor last uh, weekend. Maybe some of you have seen that we brought some yellow, some sun into Berlin. And sun, the brand for us, means everything that is included in our food is grown under the sun and not produced in a lab. I will come to that a little bit later. Here you can also see that Race for Soil, we already presented in Berlin and we have been very proud to be title sponsor together with the mayor, we could deliver a prize. We have our own team, our own racing team to put awareness um, to this matter. Also, we are principal partner of Nico Rosberg's team as well. Yeah, the key point is we only have 50 harvests left. Our mission of Sun AG, and we are Swiss-based, so we are producer of food in Switzerland, and I told you I came with a solution today, not only with a problem, and our mission is to reduce the resources around food by 90%, which we are doing already today. So we are reducing the food or the waste around food from 250 grams to 10 grams, and we reduce the food waste by 100%. I'll come to that a little bit in a second. And also the use of arable land we are reducing by more than 90%. Yeah, short story of mine, how everything started. Crazy Austrian, so okay, I wanna go to Mount Winson, and what do I take with me? We have great technology, we know how to get to Antarctica, we know how to build great cars, great technology, but food, I discovered, is still like in the Stone Age. We're still promoting fruits and vegetables, and fruits and vegetables has only 80% water, which is not good in Antarctica at minus 30 degrees. Um, it's not convenient. I don't want to start cooking. And 30% uh, of uh, fruits and vegetables is thrown away. And if I take the water out, what is left is sugar. 90% of fruits and vegetables is sugar. And the trade-off to get a few nutrients for that much sugar doesn't make a lot of sense. So, and it's not nutrient complete. That was the old world, the new world, game changer nutrition. Um, what we do is basically development of a complete new category of food, and it's basically nutrient complete, it's ready to use, no food waste, 90% less sugar, and it's 100% natural. So that's basically our solution. Every single bar um, saves around one square meter of arable land. So that's our story, and it gives you everything you need what you can see here is the nutrient completeness compared to fruits and vegetables. If you look on 800 calories on fruits and vegetables, you see that there is around 157 grams of sugar in it. So if you eat 2,400 calories of fruits and vegetables, you have three times the amount of 150 grams sugar. And everybody says, don't eat more than 50 grams of sugar. So how should that work? We found a solution. Our food is able with only 800 calories to deliver all essential nutrients in the right amounts. So and we stand actually for three parts, performance, lifestyle, and impact on health. We can uh, promote 180 health claims, which we don't do because it's hard to sell health. Um, but it's cost only 50% of fruits and vegetables and it's very easy to take it anywhere with you. So my invitation to you is let's race together. It makes sense. You save money, time and you know that what you get into your body and we have a nice present as well. We use technology. The reason why we cost only half of fruit and fruits and vegetables is because we are using blockchain technology. In today's world, when I look on price like, like a kebab, in Berlin, it cost almost 8 euros already. It's amazing. Um, and that's because of inflation. So with blockchain technology, we turned the inflation around, meaning 
normally with normal money, food always gets more expensive. We are using our own soil token, which we give out for free to every customer, and they can pay with that token and get the food. And then we take the token out of supply, which means the price goes up, it already went 400% up, and it means food gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper in the future. So our food, we can already deliver with um, less than eight euros per day. We deliver all nutrients. So it's really a food for everybody. If you wanna uh, test it, you can come to our booth. We have a chocolate version as well. Um, so you're invited for that. And that was actually what I wanted to give to you today. So thank you very much for having the attention. Thank you. Woo!